<clears throat> Welcome to the Moby Dick, the live Moby Dick. 1972, 73, 75, 77, 79, 80. Launching point for the rest of the solo. Remember, real fast comes. Okay? We're not talking the Royal Albert Hall. This is post Royal Albert Hall. So what, this is the Ocho, this is the final, this is really the tying it together thing. So what I want you to do, you're going to see a little, the gray box that'll pop down. Click on that, okay? It's, it's safe, it's here to YouTube. Somebody went ahead and took a little snippet of the Royal Albert Hall Moby Dick from 75. I think it's May 24th, 1975. <laughs> Where Bonham is playing this part. And But see, the neat thing about the Royal Albert, I'm sorry, the Earl's Court, 1975, chunk of footage is that's all videotape even at the source that's videotape proper remember the song remains the same movie and indeed the royal albert hall that was shot on film so in a sense it's kind of like digital in the sense that each pulse each frame 24 frames per second it's almost like digital like it's like a sample and then you put it together think, 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 you know what i'm saying whereas the earl's court is dig is uh videotaped from the start so you can really see and hear what he's doing. So what this person did is they slowed it down 50%. So instead of doom, da, 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 it's like doom, da, 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 da. it's nice and slow as if you'd slow down a record. But the neat thing is here is you, uh, like an actual album. But the neat thing here is you actually have the picture to go with it. So I have, this is the Ocho. It's the last of the series of the Moby Dick Live. Uh, modern era of my videos, Moby Dick Live. So you'll see the, the thumbnail will look like the other seven. Okay, so there's one through seven already. This is eight. So what I want them to do in six and seven, what I did was, is I made a big deal. Remember, we got the eighth notes going here. One and two, and now we're slower here, okay? Three, bump, bump, bump. So what I had everybody, well, everybody who was, paying, who was listening, who was kind enough to watch my video, to practice this. Okay. The neat thing is there. Now, what, the reason why I sort of made a big deal out of that, what Bonham actually does isn't really quite that. It's a morph between like a 16th kind of thing and then a triplet. Okay? So, so, so th this Moby Dick thing, this, mi this thing that slowed down 50% that the link's there to, and also in the description, it sounds like this. It's about this fast. It's about like this. It literally sounds just like that. It's wonderful. You can really see and hear, well, hear what Bonham's actually doing there. And when you watch this clip that slowed down, it might be a minute long, maybe a little more than a minute. There's some points where it sounds sloppy. Like, it's not really clean. Like, you'll hear the hi-hat a little, because at that speed, it'll be like... Now, the astute will notice I am sticking this a little different than I did in video six and seven. What Bonham does, though, really, is when he goes into those accents with the hand, with the rolls into the hand... He's actually, well, 90% of the time sticking it like a triplet. So instead of one and two and three E and a, one and two and three E and a, he does this. One and two and three and a, one and, or if you're inclined to use the triplet word, one and two and three triplet, one and two and three triplet. So, but the reason why I had everybody do, buddy do the 16th 16 was because Bonham often will stuff a double with his left hand into the triplet format. Okay, so just check this out. So what I did there is I left out doubles with the left hand at all. Okay, which Bonham will do sometimes. But according to this, what I'm watching in the uh, Earl's Court from 75, he'll stuff in as that R uh, or that lit in Tripletville 
a quick double with his left hand. Okay, so it'll be like. <laughs> hear that? So instead of, instead of a straight 16th, it's like. Hearing this lesson is going to be short. What I want everyone to do, go back and watch this the thing I put up before. Watch that MIDI. Watch it over and over again and listen to what he's doing. Okay? And a quick summary, what I often advise people to do is you can practice just with one, two, three, one, two, three. Because it has like a triplet thing happening, right? But kind of what happens is a main paradigm I've always told people to, to, to practice with is what I've said in videos one through seven is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So it's kind of like eight, okay, but it's still like... Do you know what I'm saying? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Although there will be times he'll go around, it'll be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? But the key is to practice this. And then there's one more fly in the ointment, though, and I, I probably, I, I've mentioned this in the other videos, is he brings the bass drum in. Sometimes he'll do the straight-up Bonham engine. There's a link to the Bonham engine. I have numerous videos on the Bonham engine, but essentially what it boils down to is when the right hand is striking the snare or anything, the left foot is striking simultaneously. And the left arm is striking at the same time as the right foot. Okay? But now, what that means is, in this case, sometimes Bonham will go... The whole time. That kind of thing. Hang on, I gotta get this phone out of my pocket because it's messing up my playing a little bit. It's, it's stepping all over my right hand. But. What Bonham will do sometimes, and this actually directly comes from, you can really hear it in the Royal Albert Hall. Because Bonham, when he first starts doing that cool stuff, which George, by the way, in Bonhamology, B-O-N-H-A-M-O-L-O-G-Y, um, is breaking down the Royal, the Royal Albert Hall 1970 solo, okay? When Bonham sort of first starts that, he's kind of doing this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That is like where this all comes from. This is like the metamorphosis, the mountain that Bonham climbs, the, the, the observable development, evolution of the solo. Okay, but the bass drum then, okay, the kick drum. Bonham will often do this in the one, two, three, one, two. It sounds like this. Hear that? That bass drum's popping in just before that downbeat. Which means that bass drum is hitting, that last one is hitting at the same time as your left hand. This is why the bottom engine is so important. Again, the link to the bottom engine, another one of the bottom engine videos, okay? So you're gonna have, now I'm gonna do this really slow. This is really hard to do slow because I'll never actually play it slow. So back to the tempo of the, the video I put up. It's actually, it says Bonham Moby Dick. It says MIDI 50%. I don't know why it says MIDI because the sound you actually hear is the sound from Merle's Corp. Anyway. Here I rewind that. Here how I just hit the bass drum at the same time as my left hand there. That takes a little practice. For some people, it comes more natural. I am very lucky in that, I mean, I'm right-handed. Somebody, there was a, f a famous YouTuber, asked, drummer asked if I was left-handed, actually, because I think a lot of right-handed people, a lot of, not all, sometimes have a problem doing the bottom engine. Like, it's hard for them, I think, to go... Fast, anyway. Okay, but see this ties in when we're doing this cool Moby Dick part. The rolls in. That left hand, that right foot is hitting at the same time as left hand. Okay, so sometimes if you're sticking it like this, one and two and three and a ba, 
Just we only have one, two, one set of doubles with the right hand. The left hand is just playing the uh or the lit and triplet bird. That le that right foot. So hear that? It's hard to play it slow, but see how rewind that again and watch it slow. Remember, there's a little icon in the lower right hand corner. You can do the playback speed, or you can do the size of the screen, or whatever the hell it is. But that's important, okay? See, that was off. Oh, see what I'm doing there is I'm actually, sorry, I've been working on this too. I'm keeping straight one and two and eighth notes while doing the triplet with my left foot. But what ultimately what happens in Bonnenberg, and this is important to the Bonham engine too, is when you're really doing the Bonham thing and like Moby Dick and stuff, that bass drum note starts to swing. Again, it goes from the and position. One and two and. It slides to the uh in one and uh, or the lit in one triplet. Again, I have that in the other videos, okay? So one and two and three and one and two and three and kind of becomes one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. See that? Or and uh, one. So you get instead of this, you get this. Okay, which that, so if I'm going, so let me do this slow. I want to do this slow, but I also want to do it fast. People have said, you know, people said, Terry, you'd have a lot more subscribers, a lot more views if your videos weren't as long. But I just want to be thorough, you know? Hang on, and it's, yeah, it was hard to do slow. That's the 16th. Hang on, that's, that's hard to do slow. Like that. Hear that slow. Okay, so when you're doing the 16ths, if you're doing any doubles with the left hand, that bass drum will hit synchronized with the first note of them. Okay, so this is the ocho. This was the ocho. Wanted to make it short. Remember, George has started on Bond homology. The Royal Albert Hall, 1970 Moby Dicks. I'm not really that familiar with it, especially the sticking. So you got to go to Bonhamology for that. There's another couple people that do it well, too. Eric Hubley, thanks for George reminding me of that guy. I saw him do it. He set up his drum set one time. He didn't even call it, I think. Um, he just was playing the, the Royal Albert Hall drum parts in there, that really cool stuff. It was really cool. And, of course, we can't forget about uh, Bonzo Nishi, that Japanese fella that, like, 11 years ago put out his Royal Albert Hall thing, which is crazy, man. You gotta look that up. Bonzo Nishi. B-O-N-Z-O-N-I-S-H-Y. I think that drummer, now he's grown up, he plays with uh, Jimmy Sakurai in Japan, I think. More videos on the way. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to Kick It Like Bonham. Kick It Like Bonham. That's another Bonham Zeppelin channel. I know most people here probably, of course, have subscribed to him, right? But if you haven't, you gotta check him out. I'll put a link up to that, too. Again, more videos on the way. Uh, tomorrow, George and I are going to do a live chat from Bonzolium Studios. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Okay, I think we'll end up doing it. I'm sorry I'm not too precise about it. You know, we get older and our, our schedules are just, they're not real flexible. Okay? So I will make an announcement. Uh, we'll do, a, we'll do a, a live chat to announce the live chat. But if you're in and around your computer tomorrow, which is Wednesday, which is... Um, uh, the 6th, probably in the 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. area, around your lunch hour. It, it, at some point, we'll schedule one on a weekend at night. It's just that George is always gigging, okay? Please subscribe if you haven't. Again, thank you so, so much for watching my videos. More videos on the way. Thank you.